Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 24th of 2019. Well, it is titled Apollo 12 self portrait. So what do we see here? Well, 50 years ago, the Apollo 12 mission was on the moon exploring it. And the two astronauts, Charles Conrad and Alan Bean, were exploring. And in this case, Charles Conrad was taking some images and was observing, in this case, what Alan Bean was exploring, looking at his lunar soil samples that he was collecting. So in that image, what we see here, the interesting thing and sometimes looking at this as a more artistic piece of work than just a scientific recording of what was going on, is that um, he was able to record himself in the reflection in the visor of the other astronaut. So if you look at the visor there, you actually see the reflection of the astronaut taking the image. And this has become a very famous portrait as one of those taken on the moon because of the very interesting contrast that you get with the way the image turned out. So you can see um, the very nice reflection of the lunar surface there. Lunar surface very barren, extremely dry, very little water or other types of icy material on the moon. And that's one of the things that the astronauts were studying. And you can see in his right hand there the sample container that he's taking where they were taking various samples of the lunar material for return to Earth to be able to study uh, in more detail. So a good idea to be able to get some of those samples back to Earth to give us a better idea of what the moon was really like. Certainly robotic spacecraft can do some things but of course having a human there is much better in that you can actually uh, use your reasoning to find out where the best areas are to be able to explore. You can also see the cameras mounted on the front of them. They certainly could not carry cameras around. It would be too hard to be able to carry the cameras. They needed their hands free to be able to do other things. So the camera is actually mounted right on the front of their space uh, space suits so that they could record images as well very easily. And when you consider that you're carrying around a bulky spacesuit, which weighs as much as a human, that it would be very difficult to try to maneuver that and adjust equipment. So in other words, putting it on there was very important for being able to record things conveniently and yet leave the astronauts free to be able to make their other recordings. Now when we do study the moon, we find out as I've said that it was very depleted in uh, what we call volatile elements or things that are easily vaporized things like water, we don't find water on the moon. And it leads back to how we think the moon formed which was through a massive collision of an object with the Earth about four and a half billion years ago as the solar system was forming, that something crashed into the Earth and vaporized the material that ended up forming the moon ended up going through this intense collision that vaporized it and it got rid of all of the volatile elements things like gases and liquids that would be easily vaporized and leaving only mostly rocky material from the outer layers of this object that hit the earth and the Earth itself. So that explains a number of the properties of the moon why it is so rocky and has very little metal, but also has very little of things like ice. So here we can see some of the studies that probably helped lead to that uh, from 50 years ago with the Apollo 12 mission on the moon. So that was our picture of the day for November the 24th of 2019. It was titled Apollo 12 self portrait. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a bat glow. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.